A very good evening to you. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Sports Tonight. This is the Monday night edition of the show. It's the first edition of Sports Tonight for the week. Promises to be an exciting one. Interestingly, today is the 29th of February, uh, 2016. We only get the 29th of February uh, once in every four years. So it's a very special day. And we are happy that it's the first day of the week. And it's a wonderful time uh, for us to uh, look forward into what we believe will be an exciting week. Um, for all of us. So thank you once again for allowing us into your homes and welcome on board Sports Tonight this week. It promises to be an exciting show. My name is Tony Ibitoe. Let me start off the show tonight by introducing to you uh, the guys that will be with me all through the show tonight uh, from start to finish. Let me start uh, from uh, Tobi Adekpoju. Tobi Adekpoju is um, with us on the program tonight. Tobi, good to have you on, on Sports tonight, this yes, Monday. A better week for you? Yeah, a be very, better week? Very good week for everyone. Uh, good week <laughs> for everyone. Better week for you? Yeah. Uh, this time you went, you saw. I was not even there. And you didn't? Okay, you didn't I, even I, I go. I was watching the TV. But you were, you, were, you were too afraid to go. No, no, I was, I was, I was so confident. All right. No, I was watching the TV. But it was a good it, weekend. It was an interesting weekend. Yeah. yeah. Shooting Stars came to watch MFM against Rivers United. Um, last Wednesday, and they got all that they wanted okay. in terms of information, and they went to Ibadan <laughs> and put all of them to use. Uh, all right. So uh, before that game, MFM were, lead, were, were the lead, were the log leaders, yeah. uh, but then the first half was was not what they anticipated, and uh, they got hammered. All right. We'll talk about it later on on the show and get you pictures of that as well. Uh, but Onye Uchuwajuko is also uh, on the program this Monday. Onye, good to have you as well um, on Sports tonight. Uh, Bad weekend for Aqua United. Amazingly disappointing for Aqua United. And I don't know. Well, very shocking. In fact, in fact at, at the time, I posted something wrong. I had to apologize <laughs> to Toby. You know, when they had that penalty, I was following somebody on Twitter. Perhaps the person too was so sure that Aqua would convert that penalty. You know, it, it, we thought it was 1-1, one, one, you know, so I was so... No, they, they, they even uh, got the penalty before these people scored the goal. Yes, yes, I was so happy that I thought um, they, 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 they had a goal, but uh, to me it was, it was unbelievable. I think it's a big lesson mm. in um, complacency, we will talk about it. confidence. We will talk about it, the amazing story of Aqua United. If there was anything um, going into this weekend yep. that everybody um, was absolutely sure about, it was Aqua United. But um, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lesson. It's a lesson. It's not over until it's over. Advantage from the first leg, everything looking good, well-motivated side. The government was willing, everybody was there, and uh, suddenly... So, yeah, I think there is something about the nest of champions that makes um, it comfortable for the away team. Mm -mm. Remember that the cranes of Uganda came there... The Super Eagles didn't find that place. I think they, they launched Green Peach. Yeah, yeah. The place is so beautiful. It's too beautiful that, that they wait till we come and say, I'm okay. I feel at home. I feel at home. <laughs> so what do we do? Make it very ugly? Ah, well, <laughs> make it so hostile. Make, uh -huh. make it hostile. <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll stop playing. <laughs> no, we'll stop playing no, no. How can you not play on that kind of a pitch? It, I think it's just an attitude thing. But we'll, we'll talk about it uh, on the program. Tonight. But you can also talk to us. Um, about all of that um, as we go on on the show. Apart from a reflection on the Nigerian clubs on the continent, if there was any club that we were all afraid would crash out, it was not Sarawa United, but they went, they saw, and they were able to get the result that they needed to uh, stay on in the CAF Confederations Cup. Uh, the same for Inyimba, who were able to get the result uh, in Port Harcourt. We'll talk about it. Of course, on the program tonight, being a Monday, we will review the Nigeria Professional Football League March Day 3. Um, not like match day one when we had four away wins, but there was one away victory, and that away victory came with a lot of consequences um, for the home team. I'm, I'm talking about Heartland of Oweri. I'm sure Onye uh, will be giving us all the gist about Heartland. That's that's uh, um, is, is Heartland had heart, but his head and his hands and his Inyimba. legs in Yimba. Okay. <laughs> No, All right. no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm, I'm uh, from Imo State. Okay. okay. You know, so Heartland is from my state. But that's I, I support Inyimba. That's okay. that. Oh, your, your connection with Heartland is that they are from your state. No, they are from my state. Obviously, I will pick interest in what happens there. You know, I, I posted something on Twitter. You know, Heartland. It's like they are always breaking hearts. <laughs> and uh, we will I talk about this. I don't understand why a team will all, well, always but have no problems. See, yeah, it, it happened. It happened last season. You Kobe. win some, and, and you, have to sack you win some, you lose some. All right, so that's that's football. Boris Coleman, 
went to Ghana to coach uh, Kotoko. He lost against uh, House of Oak, which is regarded as, uh, as, as a taboo. Mm. He was sacked. That's a big rivalry. So for sacked. losing to Abia Warriors... So for, for, no, uh, for Maurice Koma, you just mentioned Maurice Koma. Yeah. Maybe against... We'll see what happens to him at Akwa United. Too. Now that they are scratched out of the cup, uh, competition club. Because it, right. it's unacceptable to him. Mm. All right. We'll, we'll talk extensively about all of those things. But it wasn't, it wasn't pleasant at all. And I'm sure uh, that there will be a lot that will follow uh, um, Aqua United's All-Star. Uh, from the CAF Competitions Cup at this stage and in the manner with which they crashed out was so disappointing. But we'll talk about the league also on the show. Uh, seven games were played, one away victory, uh, and we'll, we'll give you all the lowdown on all of that as well. And uh, hopefully, we should have enough time to take you abroad um, and um, celebrate with Kelechi Hianacho, um, who has become uh, the, a winner. It's four silverware um, with the senior team of Manchester City. All right. Um, Let's um, tell you that uh, you can be a part of what we're doing on the show. You can see on the screen, um, we are heavy on feedback tonight. We would like to hear from you. Give us your own opinion uh, via the platforms showing there on your screen on Facebook and on Twitter. Those handles are active and they're going to be very, very interactive tonight. You could also um, follow up on all the stories, all the gist, sports, politics, health, entertainment, everything on www.channelstv.com. Uh, youtube.com slash channels web you can watch um, on that um, platform as well you could um, click on m.channelcv.com if you want to watch us on your device whether it's ipad or iphone or blackberry you will be able to get onto your home for the news and if you download the channels app for android for ios for windows um, it makes it better for you to track and follow um, channels wherever you are and as you do all of that and feed us back uh, using those platforms that we talked about at the beginning of the show just also include for us where you are watching us from um, so that we can appreciate you a lot more as we go along on the show tonight let me just start off the show tonight by taking you uh, through some interesting development around um, table tennis and then we'll talk tennis and then we'll talk the Okwakwe road race um, on sports tonight. But let me start with a good one. Um, let's start with table tennis. And it's good news all the way uh, from Malaysia, uh, venue of the IWTF World Team Championship uh, in uh, Malaysia. And that's because uh, uh, Nigeria's uh, men team have been very dominant. They've maintained a 100% record uh, at the event. The uh, trial of uh, Aruno Kodri, uh, Shegun Toriola, Bodia Biodun, um, Defeated India's uh, Gorge uh, Sunyajit, Achanta Kamal, and Tony Amaraj, 3 0, and they are right now on top of Group F, which is very good for us. Earlier, uh, Nigeria had beaten Switzerland, uh, clean slate, 3 uh, 0, for their second victory of the day. And of course, uh, the team earlier on Sunday beat Turkey uh, as well in their opening game. But they will be up against Slovakia Republic tomorrow um, in. Um, their group game. So we wish the Nigerian team the very best of, of luck. The guys, they've really gone there and they're really dominating and they're making Africa proud. The Egyptians are also um, in excellent shape. They are also looking very good. They're dominating their group as well. So it looks good for Africa on the two fronts. That is on Nigeria's side and on the side of, um, um, of Egypt. But the bad news is that our guys paid their way. No support whatsoever. Uh, coming from the National Sports Commission or the authorities, lack of funds, again, uh, the excuse given. So these guys had to sponsor themselves. The ladies were not so lucky, not enough funds, and so they are not participating. And Nigeria risks some suspension, some ban, some sanction uh, from the world body for table tennis because of the way our girls refused to show up because they couldn't get money to sponsor themselves. But the guys are making up for us, and we hope they can go um, all the way. Okay? From table tennis, let's come to Lagos now and uh, just, uh, just fill you in very quickly with um, um, the story from uh, tennis. That's the ECO Under-15 um, Secondary School uh, Tennis Championship that uh, ended, of course, uh, over the weekend. It was good uh, for, um, for Lagos to put that together and already uh, it is generating a whole lot 
of um, excitement amongst those who were involved in it. The tournament was the first edition and uh, it ended on Saturday and everybody is applauding the Lagos State Government and the organizers for uh, putting that show uh, to, together. All right, And it was um, good because it was um, Austin Steven, that's the name of the guy, made history. He emerged as the inaugural winner of the ECO Under-15 Secondary School Tennis Championship, uh, beating his opponent in two straight, set, in straight sets. And according to those who saw the game, he displayed a high level of intelligence that held the capacity crowd cheering all the way. But I'm happy because Steven Austin and Ayola Michael that lost in the final uh, gave a good account of themselves and they have both been drafted into the Lagos State Junior Tennis Team. That's the point. Drafted into the Lagos State Junior Tennis Team and that's the essence of that competition. Okay, so we move away from um, the tennis courts and we take you now very quickly to road race and talk about the uh, annual Okwakwe road race and uh, the organizers of the annual Okwakwe road race have appointed world-renowned international road race organizer Walter Abma as the elite athlete manager for the fourth edition of the race which will be holding on the 7th of May uh, in Okwakwe. It's an annual event, it's a bronze label event uh, from the IAAF and um, in line with the international status of this uh, race, uh, the world-renowned uh, international road race organizer Walter Amia will be coordinating the elite athletes, the international athletes, in terms of the recruitment, in terms of the management and the logistics, and all of that is to make sure that we have a huge, free, exciting, top quality, well-organized of a road race on the 7th of May in Okwakwe, near Auchi in Edo State.